What's going on? Travis here with TravisDental.com, TrainAggressive.com, and I wanted to do a quick video here um, talking about the difference between sprint training for performance and sprint training for just fat loss. All right, I've been getting a lot of questions from people um, in regards to uh, how to implement their sprinting into their routine and uh, how they should be uh, implemented in if they're an athlete or if they're just somebody that's looking to become badass across the board and uh, they're just training for just general fitness and uh, you know going that way. So let's talk about a little bit about sprint training, all right? Because there is a difference between pure performance training and then sprint training to get you shredded, all right? And uh, let's go ahead and go over the target first and we'll work our way up. So target wise, obviously for fat loss, it's to shred freaking body fat, all right? It's to get lean and mean. That's why you're implementing sprinting and just to let you know, even if you're not an athlete, you should be implementing in sprinting some way, somehow into your routine. It's one of the most athletic things you can do. So if you're not currently doing that, you need to start, all right? So it's to shred fat out of your body. That's for fat loss, all right? For performance, your number one focus, number one target is for speed, all right? To get yourself faster, all right? So there is a difference between the two and how to train them. All right, number two, which is critical, um, is rest. All right, there's a difference between rest periods for when you train for performance, when you're training for fat loss. With fat loss, to get you shredded, obviously the focus is in on keeping your body, you know, at an elevated heart rate, all right? That's why you sprint, because it's a big bang for your buck movement that's gonna cost your body a lot of energy but the key is, is not to let your body fully recover, all right? So your rest periods are going to be low to moderate, all right? All depending on your fitness level, all right? Because you still want to have good quality form, and you still want to be able to sprint near 100% on every rep that you're doing, depending on, on your different workouts. But your rest periods are going to be pretty low to moderate. On the other side of things, with performance, your rest needs to be high. You need to allow your body to fully recover near 100% or 100% depending on what you're training for. So, for example, football players, baseball players, track, all right, your, your rest periods are going to be, well, football players and track, it's all going to be relative to your sport, but your main focus is speed. You need to be training at 100% top end speed, all right? It wouldn't make sense to train to get faster if you're only running at 75% or 85% because you're, you're not fully recovered from your last sprint. All right, so you need to focus in on allowing your body to recover so you can sprint at maximum effort, all right? So that's the difference between those. Let's talk about frequency. For frequency, this refers to the amount of uh, sessions that you're gonna have during the course of a week, all right? So sprint sessions. For fat loss, it's all gonna be relative to your fitness level. So if you're somebody that's just getting back into it, you might only have one sprint routine during the week because that one sprint routine is going to bust you up, all right? And especially if you haven't sprinted for a long time or if you haven't done any type of sprint training ever, that one sprint session is going to tear you up, all right? So your frequency is going to be low to high and it's all going to be progressive in nature. Right now I'm up to three sprint sessions during the week, all right? And I've progressed up to this point, all right? I'll get up into four sprint sessions here just for a couple of weeks, and then I'll cut it back down to just three sprint sessions a week. And all the sprint sessions are different. There are um, some sprint sessions I'm sprinting longer, I'm doing shorter sprints, and it's just all kind of mixed up. But the frequency can be higher because I've built myself up to that point. Whereas if I was a beginner, I'd only be sprinting one, maybe two times a week. Now, when it comes to performance, it's going to be the same. It's all progressive in nature, but your frequency is going to be moderate to high. And the reason for this is going to be with the volume. Your frequency needs to be high because you need to practice that skill more often. Speed is a skill, and it can be improved over when you practice it over and over and over and get better at it. But the intensity and the focus and the quality has to be super high, all right? And that ties in with the next thing, which is volume. All right, volume refers to how much you're going to be sprint training within each session. All right, so with fat loss, again, it's all relative to your fitness level. So if you're a badass, 
you're going to be able to ha uh, handle a higher volume of sprints within one session. Whereas if you're more of a beginner, we'll price, you're going to start off more at a moderate level. With performance, your volume within your sessions is going to be pretty low because the quality that you're focusing in on. Again, like I mentioned, the rest periods are going to be longer because your focus is, in, is going at 100% each sprint. All right, unless you're working on technique, you might cut back the uh, intensity a little bit, which I'll talk about here in a second. But volume is going to be pretty low in your sprint sessions for performance because you're going all out. All right, and, and you want to keep it low because we're going to be tra training more frequently at such a high intensity. So if you're to have high volume, high frequency, high intensity, you're going to burn yourself out. You want to avoid that as you're training for performance. So the last thing is intensity. That's the number one key when it comes to sprints. That's why sprints are so good, is because you're going all out intensity, 100%. For fat loss, it needs to be at 100%. Again, it's all relative to your fitness level, so you need to progressively get back into it. I'm not saying go out tomorrow or today after you watch this video and go run a 100 yard sprint 100%. That's a key um, way to get, get yourself injured. Obviously, progress back into it, but you want to focus in on giving 100% effort every time you sprint to help you shred freaking fat off your body and get you know lean to the bone. All right, for performance, I mentioned 75 to 100%, and the reason for this is obviously your main focus is going to be going 100% all-out effort, focusing on quality. But sometimes you're going to be working on form and technique, so you might cut the intensity back just a little bit to key in on your form and technique because it is more important with performance versus fat loss. You don't have to um, key in on your performance and uh, technique as much because it's not going to really cross over. You're not trying to perform, um, especially if, if you're like a, a track athlete, your form and technique needs to be on it. It makes all the difference. All right. So that's a basic breakdown between uh, sprinting to get shredded and uh, sprinting for pure performance. The main bonus that performance is going to have is you're going to get shredded in the process as well. So um, obviously look at track athletes, you know, um, football players, baseball players that do a lot of sprinting. They, they got lean builds. So again, if you're not sprinting in your routine, athlete or not, you're freaking missing the boat big time. All right. So I hope this kind of explains things. Drop your thoughts, comments below. I got all the details listed below. And if you're somebody looking to implement more sprinting into your routine, I got a full manual called Shred It in 7. I got the, all the details listed below this video where you can check that out. Bottom line, if you're not sprinting, you need to start. All right? So uh, thanks for listening in. Travis, TravisStetzel.com. Keep living, training aggressive, going 110% ham. I'm out.